Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at High and Dry by Radiohead. So we're in standard tuning here. It's got some cool octave things going on, uh, some cool thumb over chord, um, and some uh, pretty simple solos too. So it's not that difficult um, if you can play these uh, kind of bigger chord shapes. All right, so let's start here. We're in standard tuning. 11th fret here on the A string for this intro lick here, and then we're going to have an octave of it at the 13th fret of the G. So you play that 11 on the A, 13 on the G, and the one in the middle, the string in the middle, the D string, is going to be muted by the bottom of your index finger. Then along with that, you're going to want the B string and the high E string to read. So from there, Pick that strum out a little bit and slide it down two frets. So same octave shape. Then go back up to the 11th fret, but this time slide it down to the 7th fret. So we have this. Strum that down here for a measure. You're gonna then add the low E string. So that's just not you know, moving this finger down so it's not muting the low E, but it's still muting the D string. So we have this all together. which sounds like this. start that over. All right, so we're going to have here, let's just talk about the bottom note here. You're going to have to have your thumb come over the top and grab the second fret. And the rest of the chord is going to be the fourth fret on the A and the D. So you just play with those two fingers. Then the index finger is going to grab the second fret on the G string. So you have that along with the thumb there on the second fret. And then you're going to let the top two strings ring open. So there we're going to go to an A suspended second chord. This one's a lot easier to play. You're basically playing the second fret on the, uh, it's like an A minor or A major, but just lift up the note that's on the second string. The finger that's on the second string. To E major. E major was strung twice as long, so we have this so far. Alright, now I'm going to go through this again, starting with the F sharp there, A sus, and then we're going to have the E. So you can play the E just briefly for like a beat and a half, and then you're gonna jump up second fret here on the G, fourth fret on the low, uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the A string. You're gonna have the D string muted, so we have all the other strings open. So just that D string muted still. So we have then back to the E. And then right before you start the verse over, you're gonna do that. You're gonna jump up and grab that chord one more time. So it sounds like this. Alright, 
so the whole verse is is just playing the that F sharp minor seven add four or whatever that this chord is to an A sus two to the E, and then you repeat those chords and you add that little variation that we did. All right, so. Basically, you're going through those series of chords three uh, twice, and that variation happens the second time around. All right, so that concludes the whole verse rhythm, and then you just repeat it again. All right, so that verse is like basically twice as long as that. All right, so it leads from there into the uh, chorus, which is just uses pretty much the same chords as the verse, uh, just a little bit easier. So it sounds like this. back to that little intro. All right, so that was basically just that F sharp chord, A sus to E, back to F sharp, and then pausing on the A sus the second time around, and then back to the E. All right, so like I said, it's, it's kind of like a simple thought version of the verse. All right, now we have a solo in there. I'm gonna play through the solo real quick, and then uh, we'll take a look at it, it's pretty simple. So we're basically playing a melody on the B string. That last note comes over to the G string. So let me just show you the melody first. Fifth fret to fourth fret. So you have this. So you're just continually strumming in an eighth note feel just And then slide up to seven, then five, four, back to five, four, five, four, two, over to four on the G. All right, so while he's doing that, he has, he's bringing it across the B and the high E string and letting the high E string ring open. This string, you're gonna let the B string ring with it. And then you come to start over, you just play two, two, four on the B, and then start come back to the start the melody over. Five, four, four. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a pretty simple solo. Um, he does a variation of that at the end, uh, the very end last chorus of the song, we'll talk about in a second. All right, so from this solo, we have an interlude section, which is once again kind of a simplified version of the verse. It sounds like this. chorus there. Alright, so we're starting with that F sharp, minor 7, that, you know, whatever chord. So we basically strum across that, just one time, and then a quick up, down, up at the very end. So that A sus too, and then once again, quick little up, down, up, then the E. So like this. So after you play that E, jump up here and grab the harmonic at the 12th fret on the B string and the high E, just right over those frets. 
let them ring, and then back, start again. The F sharp minor seven uh, four chord, and then the A sus. E. Then you start building that E. When we get to the the chorus again. So like I said before, they kind of do a, the solo very similar again while he's singing the last chorus. And when he kind of, at the very end of it, he branches out a little bit and does something higher up, which is a more definitive solo. So this is what it sounds like. So that's at the very end of the song there. So it's 10th fret on the B and 12 on the G high E. Pick those two twice, then change the note on the B string to nine, then back to 10, so this. Back down to nine, and then over to 11 on the G. And you wanna mute that B string, so we have this. Or you actually, let the B string ring actually, the open B string, so we have this. And then back up to nine, then 10, a few times, nine a couple times, then to that 11. And you're letting that open B ring with those. And then you're just gonna play now. That's slides to 13 on the G, 11, and nine, and having the open B with it. Then come back with 11 on the G, 9 on the B. And then we're back to the... And that just starts the same way. When you get down 11, slide down, play the, the A chord. And the E. Alright, it's a great tune. It's pretty easy to play as long as you can play that thumb chord and handle those octaves. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.